Welcome to part two of the Checkout System demonstration series. We've already set up our workspace and are ready to begin defining our system. Remember that our system will serve to check out customers in a convenience store. We will begin by roughing out the requirements at a very high level. Our customer is a convenience store owner who doesn't have a formal requirements document, so we'll need to create requirements from what we know about the operation. At the very top level, we could simply say that the system requirement is to check out customers. Let's create a corresponding requirement. We will begin by double-clicking on the requirement class in the project pane to create a new element and name it Check Out Customers. Since the point of this exercise is to demonstrate the power of modeling through the graphical interface, we will then select the Hierarchy tab to view the Hierarchy diagram. This shows us the single requirement we have just created. As we develop our model, the Hierarchy diagram will represent the relationships between several layers of elements. Now we look over on the right to the Diagram palette. At the bottom of the palette we select the All Entities tab. From this tab, you'll have access to all classes so that you can relate elements of any class to elements on your diagram. At the top of the All Entities tab, we select the Component class. Components are physical parts of your system. Double-click Component and name your new element Check Out System. We'll work more with components later. Now click on the Function class. Functions describe the behavior of the physical parts of your system. Notice that we have two functions. Perform System Context Functions was created by Core's Model Assistant when we created the project and provides a space to define the environment in which our system will operate and will contain the system element. Perform Checkout System Functions was also created by Course Model Assistant when we created our Checkout System component. Right-click on that element and rename it to Checkout Customers. Our Checkout Customers function will be based on the overall requirement Checkout Customers. In order to relate it to the requirement, we can select the new function and drag it out onto the Checkout Customers requirement in the Hierarchy Diagram. Core prompts us with the Based On Relationship as the relationship appropriate to the Requirement Function context. Click OK to accept the default relationship. We have now created our first and highest level requirement and function pair. This concludes Part 2 of our Checkout System demonstration series. This is a good time to save your work. Once you've saved, go back to our screencast page to view part 3 of the Checkout System demonstration series.